Okay, today I'm gonna to show you some straw hats and some things to consider before you buy one. So you see three of them in front of me here. They're kind of all at different price points. And so that's something that you need to decide first is what you're willing to spend. Um, you can spend well over $100 on a straw hat. And if it's supposed to be nice, then that's good. If not, you can go down uh, in price range and still get a nice hat. So these ones right here are both around 40 to 50 bucks. Just depends. These are both twisters. You can get these online. Both of these came open crown and we shaped them. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the build of those as well. This hat here, this is a palm leaf. We got this from the Sunbody Hat Company. This is about $40 as well. So this is a great hat to choose. So we'll go through kind of each one and why you might choose them. One would be your individual style. So you have to decide what you want to look like when you're wearing it. You also need to decide what the function is. And so if you're doing something outside a lot, you're going to make sure that you need to have a tougher hat. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily spend a lot of money on one of those. So one of these is great. This is a Bangora hat. Um, you won't have a lot of love loss if this gets blown off. It's a lot worse and it's ex when it's expensive and you have a hat completely just you know, leave. This hat here is a four and a half inch brim. That's a little bit bigger than the industry standard. On straws, I like to go a little bit bigger just because it is meant to be a sunshade. Um, so you have to decide if that is the right look for you. This other one is also a four and a half. The common size is four and a quarter. So if you're an average size guy, width wise, height wise, four and a quarter is good. If you get above six foot higher than that, it really does pay to have a bigger hat. It might look a little bit better on you. You can also go straight for styles. So this palm leaf here, this is a three and a half inch brim. The reason why I like this hat is where I live, it's pretty windy and there's a lot of days where this hat would blow off. And so this hat works really great. It still gives a lot of shade, um, but definitely does not have the same wind resistance. It's also kind of soft too. So if it does move back and forth, it doesn't rip off of my head. So you have to decide what you're going to be doing with it, the style choices that you're going to make, and then of course your price point as well. So I think in the summer, definitely it's a good time to use a straw hat. You can certainly wear a felt, but these three are really great options and some things that um, you should consider before you buy one. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to this channel. Can't wait channel.